Hey everybody, welcome. This is Everyone Loves Pirates, and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress Lantern Abyss of Dwarf Fortress 2014. So first things first, before we take a quick look at what I've been kind of looking at on the fort, uh, let's get into Dwarf Therapist and name ourselves a dwarf. Because a commenter requested so, and I am completely beholden to my commenters until I'm not. So uh, the Freak Rain, I'm just going to do Freak Rain. I hold... Um, all ability to change your name to a name that I want it to be. I don't know. Something that doesn't seem too out of place. So I don't kind of want the Freak Rain as the name of a dork. But Freak Rain is just fine by me. He wanted a hunter. I happen to have a hunter. So uh, there you go. Freak Rain the hunter. So let's uh, commit that. And there he is. He's up there. And what, what do we have here for you, Freak Rain? Let's take a little closer look. Uh, you're... Fairly happy. You admired a nice building. You did sleep on the clay cave floor. And we are going to get uh, working on some building or not building some bedrooms today for our dwarves. Uh, but otherwise, ooh, you're a decent weaponsmith, really. Mutable, but still, that's uh, that's not too shabby. You may not end up doing a lot of hunting because we need you to hunt in the caverns, not outdoors. Remember this specific. Play through Door Fortress. We're going to try to ignore the outdoors as much as possible. Uh, we we want a few more migrants, but otherwise, uh, I want to stick to the caverns. Caverns are fun. I never get to get to them because I'm always screwing around with the goblin attacks. Uh, so he does not have great aesthetic sensitivity. He finds maintaining decorum a waste of time, don't we all? Finds eloquence off-putting, respects the development of skill, dreams of raising a family. I did up the amount of babies we could have in this fort because I'm concerned we're never going to get any more dwarfs, uh, but it takes too long to make them into useful dwarfs. Uh, so let's take a look. This is the queen's area. It's almost finished. She's getting slightly more happy, and she being Doc here, but we do need to get a mausoleum going, and we will work on those chests someday. And here's where the other dwarfs are going to live. Um, yeah, I want... One of these days, I want to do something more interesting when it comes to bedrooms. But in this case, we're getting them very large bedrooms, so they'll be happy because we're going to have a lot of space because we won't have a whole lot of doors probably. And um, as you can see, we, I'm just doing kind of blocks of five. I'm not digging out that hallway, so really we're going to get ten here, ten here, and then ten across the top. That'll be 30 for our 19 dwarves. So we will have some room to grow, and hopefully they will be happy with their marble and whatever this blue stone is. Don't really care. Now let's go up a level. Here's the dining room that we dug out last time. And if we go into designating, you see that I've designated some things to be smooth. And this is how I'm kind of blocking out the way I want the dining room to look. So along the edges, more or less, I always like to put uh, statues. So we will leave that available there. And then we're going to have blocks of tables here. So tables in the middle, chairs on the outside, those two, and then there and there. And I have a little open area here to do something with. Um, just kind of off the bat, I kind of reserve this middle three wide walkway down the middle because uh, I like to put drink there, probably have some statues scattered here and there as well so they can admire those. Uh, but we might make a little food cache in the middle so all the dwarves kind of just run to the middle, grab their food, run back to their their tables. Um, it seems very dwarfy to me. But uh, yeah, that's what we're looking at. So I am going to uh, get things moving here. That should be... Unpaused. It is. We are still under siege. These guys will leave eventually. They cannot get past our awesome defense of a bridge. Stupid goblins. Once they do leave, we will dig out our little waterway here and flood the caverns. But uh, besides that, I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, let's pull... See, I already forgot which one of these is which. I think that's the new one that goes to this. So yeah, because that one's that one's been pulled. So let's um, let's pull this just to make sure that it did get hooked up. See who comes over and gets it. Yep, there we go. Nice and open, perfect. And I believe our animals are doing all right. Let's check the health of everything. Yep, nobody's starving. Uh, we have plenty of drink, plenty of food. And if we check the kitchen, not kitchen, if we, yeah, if we check the kitchen real quick, we'll see that we still have some fish. So I think uh, we're probably still working on making some stuff. We need to get our workshops downstairs, or maybe we're not. 
may not have enough materials to do excellent meals anymore. We might throw in a couple fine... No, you know what? We're, we're doing okay. It's fish, but it should be clean, so it should last. We have filled this up with blocks. Let's, um, let's stop making blocks here. Uh, pull up Dwarf Therapist, and let's see how good our Mason is. An Expert Mason. Not too bad. Skill of 8. So really, we could probably have him start working on making some nice jet things for the Queen. Um, or just some general things that we need around the area. Everyone happy enough? Bookie isn't particularly happy. But content. Okay. Really, I'm, I'm kind of mainly waiting for the siege to end, but in the meantime, obviously, we have uh, our queen stuff. Did you stop smoothing that? You probably went to the dining room. I mean, that's what we do need in the dining room. We need some nice tables and chairs and all that kind of stuff. So maybe we go up here and say, hey, you know what? Why don't you construct a bunch of tables, and then we'll get around to... Chairs after that. How crowded is this? Fairly crowded. We do need to put our our blocks somewhere. They take up a lot of room. I'm not really sure why I made so many blocks. I know I was trying to get a skill up. And they can they can be used in other sorts of things, but we're not building any of those things anytime soon. Oops. Well, if we build some new workshops we can make them out of those blocks getting our seeds going on over here max barrel three good I have a feeling not all the seeds are being stored over there so why don't we go back and this is what I always end up having doing for so long after I first set up is this stockpile is taking like everything and I can either have the other stockpile take from this stockpile but really I don't want any in here so I kind of, at least we'll go to seeds and work on the ones that we know we're working with. So let's have it not store sweet pod, cave, wheat, pigtail, or plump helmet spawn here. So hopefully they'll move all that over to the other stockpile. Okay. And of course he's taking the entire barrel over there to go load up on seeds, hopefully. Interesting how they do that. Okay, let's check again over here. Looking all right. Got it all dug out. I like it. Okay, so let's get all these idle dwarfs to start dumping stuff. Make those muscles. You know what? Oops, wrong. Ah. D, B, D. There we go. Queen does not need to be walking by any of that either. And how many doors do we have? 17. Wow. Oops, wrong button. Ah. X. Okay, we actually have some decent doors as well. We need doors here still. We'll eventually make some really nice ones out of jet, but for the meantime, let's get our highest quality doors here. And the rest, I don't really worry with quality. We'll just put any door anywhere. Lots of rocks in the way. That's a start. Zero idlers. That's what I like to see. Move my recording software off onto the integrated graphics chip so hopefully that'll leave a little more CPU processing power for Dwarf Fortress and won't uh, do those little lag spikes on me 
I'm also drinking my dwarven whiskey as I play. As it should be. There's a spike. Come on, come on, come on. Come back to me. There we go. I am a few versions behind now. I didn't want to update because it changed enough. I don't want to break my save. But, um... Yeah, we'll have to see. That that's the interesting part about playing, you know, one of these really recent releases. Which we haven't had to do in over two years, but yeah. When a new big version like this comes out, you're gonna run into some issues and a whole heck of a lot of updates very quickly. So you kinda just have to pick a version and play. So if you see anything that's slightly different than what you're playing, it's probably because it's been fixed or changed in some way. Oh, uh, and actually, let's deconstruct a bed or two. Because we will need the beds. Anyone that has a nobody. There won't be many. I think that's probably it, actually. I got the whole text issue thing. Oh, well. Someone did recommend a text mod. I forgot to look into it. True type fonts. And let's put in a stone, oops, stone stockpile here. Just try to get all those blocks out of the workshop because I'm sure it's cluttering it up. So change settings for stone. Uh, this is going to be rough. I'm not going to be able to do just blocks. And, oh, wait, wait. Blocks is a different thing, isn't it? There we go. So just uh, stone blocks should work. And then over here, let's turn off blocks for stone. Cool. Got our guys running around still. Killing every key out there. I'm okay with that. They say, the goblins, the key to happiness is the dead key. Ah, don't groan. I didn't say it. They say it. I'm just repeating what they say. Goblins are an odd race. Not that I'm talking bad about goblins. If you're a goblin, nothing wrong with that. You're a productive member of society. Whose society? That's another issue. That's a long siege. You can't see just goblins. I'm glad nobody showed up. Hey, for a caravan or a bunch of migrants to come and just get slaughtered. Because they would, because we're not opening the gate. Not at all. It's starting to look better here. Let's uh, get some more doors set up. And we'll start putting in some beds. Who will get the first bedroom? Will it be you? Nope, because you're a person. These are just for dwarves. So, might as well start here. Should we do beds across from the doors or in the corners? We've got to keep it the same. I think we've got to go in the corner. If it was me, I'd want my bed in the corner. Once those beds get there, we'll make those rooms. Okay, we need to set these as internal. And make sure that this is still the whole thing. Good. And how are you doing on the smoothing? Not shabby, but you're kind of not doing the areas that I want you to do. Yeah, I got a question mark. It's hourglass. I don't know. Maybe... Uh, Maybe we're going to have a hard time recording this without updating to a newer version. 
We'll deal with the lag spikes and see how it goes. I really don't want to break the game, though. I like my Dwarf Fortress saves to last a while, or games to last a while. It's now summer! When did this siege start? Was it winter yet when it started? All right, pauses after each season. Um, I don't know, but we made it through the winter and spring at least. So this might be like half year siege. Seems unlikely. I mean, look, they're gonna have to run. They're gonna run out of bolts soon, if nothing else. Oh, it's over. Good. I was going to say, they're not anywhere to be seen either. Okay, I'm just going to double check. Let's look at our unit list. They left two keys alive. Lots of dead keys. Actually, not a lot. Four. Okay, so we can open this up again. Our hunter can go hunt and various other things. So let's uh, let's pull the lever. There we go. Good. I'm glad we didn't have like multiple episodes where we were sieged. Like full episodes. Now we're paused. Ugh. Clearly the lever is not a high priority. There we go. It means you can go fish, you can go hunt. Enjoy yourselves. What do we have down here? We got anything we can harvest here? I don't really want the dimple cumps, but I'd love to have the plump helmets. I mean, we can get the dimple cumps, but uh, no big ones to cut down yet. But there's probably some stuff worth getting here. Let's um, gather, 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 gather plants. Let's see what it actually picks up. A decent amount. Just more stuff we can brew. That's all that matters. Okay, so they should have gone to dig this out, but it might be suspended. Um, actually, the, the designations can't be suspended like that, can they? Drop off inaccessible. Probably something standing in the way. Let's double check and just make sure that our um i don't think it's on but our not schedule um alerts oh they are never mind um turn off the alert is that right yeah so civilian alert inactive they should go out there now right I think so. Where's our channel? Did I make it in the wrong place? I probably did. Yeah, so let's let's remove this and then do H here, but up here. It's like a dead bush there, but that should be fine. There he goes. And he may get washed in, depending on if he slips and falls. Nope. There it goes. Gotta get past these bushes and stuff now. But I don't have water height on, which is... I tried to do that for the sake of my computer, but... Water height is kind of nice when you can just see numbers instead of having to mouse over. Uh, sometimes I do the math and like see exactly how much quantity of water I need to fill a space. Now I don't really care. I'm just going to let it flow out, and then we'll flip the switch when we need to. Um, and worse comes to worse, we end up having to kind of like, I don't know, it'll take longer to evaporate and stuff. This isn't mission critical stuff right here.
I don't know if putting it on a diagonal kind of slowed it down any. Six, six, five, four. Okay. I want to make sure I get the whole thing damp. So I might just let that run for a bit. We'll we'll make sure it gets significantly full. Maybe we'll even wait till it gets completely full before we shut it off. Human caravan has come. Great. Just leave before the next siege. That's all I want. Oh. Unpause. There you go. I need to bring that wood in. Wood in. Okay, we still... Okay, we got our idlers. Ugh, sorry, guys. We got some idlers back, so they're done with their stuff. That means it is time to do the fancy food trick. So let us... You know what? It actually is time for a break in this video. Because we're at 20 minutes. I'm going to try to keep these shorter. So thanks for watching, folks. Uh, good thing the siege broke. We'll have some trading to do. I'll set off some of this, uh, set it up off camera so you guys don't have to watch a whole lot of it. But um, thanks for watching. Let me know uh, kind of how things are going. And I will see you all next video. Bye-bye.